Okay, I'm going to sound a lot like the Geico car insurance ad, but did you know that you can save up to 8% on your heating bills by installing foil insulation? Until recently, I did not know that either. Hi, I'm Jen from Everyday Old House, and today we are talking about radiator foil insulation. Yeah! So we own an old house. Um, it's over 100 years old, and the insulation in our exterior walls is a little so far not really good. So we are trying to find ways to increase our energy efficiency and lower our heating bills with just simple, easy, inexpensive ways. And so I did some research and I came across a study uh, that was done a couple years ago where the researchers um, installed foil insulation in homes with varying types of insulation and varying types of insulation. And they found that for homes that were under insulated or uninsulated, that installing these behind radiators could result in savings of up to 8%. Now for homes that were well insulated, there was no savings. So there's no need to install these if you have well insulated walls. But if you don't, like our house, these might be a way to increase energy efficiency and cut some save, cut some um, cut down on your heating bills. So this is, what I decided to use was Reflectix. Um, it's a double bubble foil insulation. I like saying double bubble. Um, that is a US-based company. Um, they are based, I believe, outside of Indianapolis, Indiana. And you can find this at all the home improvement stores. We got ours at Home Depot. I think it's at Lowe's, at Amazon. it's on Amazon. And what this does, basically, is you put it behind your cast iron radiator and it blocks the heat that's emanated from the radiator that would normally go through the walls and to the outside. Instead, what it does is it bounces that heat back into the room and warms up your room in your house. So it's actually fairly easy to install. It's super easy to install, actually. Um, it took me about uh, about an hour, and this cost total about $35. So will we see a true 8% cut in our heating bill? I don't know. Heating bills vary from winter to winter. We have cold winters, we have warm winters. Am I really going to see 8%? I don't know. Plus. That 8% is specific to the heating. It's not specific to any sort of hot water that we use for showers, for dishes, what have you. So it's it's kind of it is a small decrease. But for $35 in cost in an hour of my time, it's worth trying it. So first thing to do is to measure your radiator. Just measure your radiator and then decide whether or not you want some of this poking out or not. So for areas where we have guests, like for living room, kitchen, dining room, I decided to actually cut about an inch short around the radiator so that people don't see this because this isn't exactly overly attractive. But up in our bedrooms and up in private in private rooms that we don't have guests that much, I actually put an extra inch around the radiator so that we could kind of capture all the heat that was coming out. Um, so next is adhesive. So once you have this cut, then you have to add adhesive. Um, Reflectives on their website does recommend a couple different adhesives. For me, I tried double-sided tape and it took me three different types of double-sided tape to actually get it to stick. So I would actually recommend that you only do one radiator the first day and try the tape that you that you choose and wait overnight and see if it stick, it's still sticky. So I tried a couple and this was the third one and this third one that I used was it's a scotch mount. It's um, double-sided mounting squares and these worked for me. Um, these don't work on wallpaper by the way. So I read those on the instructions, but I have paint, so it's not a problem. So basically just put your squares on and then um, take this thing that peel off, peels off. And then as, here's a tip, since these are pretty sticky, make sure that you kind of hug your radiator as you kind of slide the insulation foil down and then stick it to the wall. Because once it sticks to the wall, it's kind of hard to, to take it off. Um, and then you have to hold it for 30 seconds for these particular squares. I'm not going to do that because that would be incredibly boring to watch me do that. Um, and then for um, areas where your hands can't touch, kind of lower down in the radiator, just use a ruler or a broom, or honestly, I use my old Swifter, um, and that worked. So, so that was it. I hope that this entertained as well as maybe educated you on trying to capture more heat on your cast iron radiators. and. Um, saving on your bills. Um, I thank you for listening. Thank you for still being here. And I apologize for the video quality. This is my first video. Um, there may actually be more, so hit subscribe. I might have more coming. Um, and also if you want further details, go over to my blog on everydayoldhouse.com. Uh, type in radiator in the search 
uh, term and a bunch of posts should come up. Um, this one will come up that will kind of give you more detail um, about radiator insulation as well as other, th other aspects of cast iron radiators, uh, cleaning cast iron radiators, increasing humidity in your home um, using your cast iron radiators, and if you want to go crazy and, and paint your radiators kind of a fun color, I have a post that has a ton of different colors for inspiration. So thanks for listening and um, 